Dave, you gave yourself a chance there at the end. With the way that this one started, did you even think you'd have that opportunity there in the ninth inning? Um, I did. Um, it, it just wasn't the way we had planned, but our guys uh, kept fighting, kept clawing. And like you said, we had the uh, tying run at second base tonight in the ninth inning, and it, it wasn't pretty. Uh, you got to give credit to the guys in the bullpen to, to give us a chance to win that game, stay in that game. Yeah, you had mentioned it wasn't pretty. It seems a little bit more sloppy than you guys are, are accustomed to playing. What do you take away from this one overall? Um, I just think that it just wasn't uh, – it didn't get off to a good start. I, I think that Julio couldn't get in sync tonight. Um, just really wasn't sharp, didn't have command. Um, and – you know, I think it bled over to the defense. And, um, you know, as far as on the offensive side, I think Walker w was really good tonight. I think early started uh, with the fastball um, at the top of the zone. Then the second time around, third time through, went primarily with the secondaries. So, um, but again, we, we uh, clawed back, gave ourselves a chance to stay in that game, though. Max Muncy gets a home run today, one of three solo shots from you guys, but he also took exception to the at-bat in the sixth inning with the strike zone. What was the conversation with uh, in that moment and obviously with the three ejections on your side? Um, I, I thought that, you know, with that Max, there was a couple at-bats. I don't know if it was that one or the one even before that where – uh, there were some questionable calls that he didn't like. And um, so after the, the punch out, he was walking away and, and said something, but told me he didn't direct anything towards uh, Mark and got tossed and wasn't, a, wasn't happy about it. Um, as far as Robert, uh, our hitting guy, Robert Van Squag, you know, didn't agree with the call, a couple calls and got run. And then for me, I just came out to question, like, why would he throw out? Our, our guy and, and then I got tossed so um, that's kind of the sequence of it how does Julio bounce back from this one um, you know I, I think it's just you know he'll, he'll he'll pitch his next turn and and just gotta continue to be better I think um, in the last three starts it's it's been that first inning that he hasn't really looked sharp so I, I don't know if it's the pregame prep whether it's too much early, not enough early to get ready for that first inning. So um, we'll talk about it, but, you know, we got to be ready from pitch one. Thank you. Dave, uh, with the with the umpires, um, you know, you're seeing a lot of them you know, in so many games, like Ripperger, I think this is an 11th game for you guys. And he's traveled on some. Does that make these, like, interactions any, like, more con contested? Or how does it affect uh, what's going on out there? Um, yeah, well, as far as the guys traveling with us, the umpires, that's kind of unique to this, uh, the world we're in today. And that's completely understandable, accepted by all and the right thing to do um, as far as on the field they have the job they have a job to do we have a job to do everyone's competing and, and doing their best so uh, you know once we're done playing I, I don't think it has any any effect thanks hi Dave uh, you mentioned that uh, Julio will go out there for his next start Hello, Dave. Do you hear me? No, I can now. Oh, okay, cool. Um, you mentioned that uh, Julio, you know, will go out there for his next start. You know, just given that Alex Wood is, you know, close to coming back, um, you know, you guys need to find a, a spot for him already. You guys just had a six-man rotation, sent Gonsolin out. You know, is it fair to say, to say that Julio might be pitching for, for a spot? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I, I don't think that's fair. Um, I, I think that Alex has still got to get through his four, four inning simulated game, um, next Monday and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. So that's a separate situation. I think that Julio has just got to, uh, you know, be a little bit more sharp from, from the outset. Um, I think the stuff was good, but tonight you can just clearly see the, the slider wasn't sharp. Um, 
the change was in in zone, you know, not located, and the fastball wasn't commanded. So it's it's not about as far as fastball and you know how it's coming out of the hand, but you know, just got to be a little bit more uh, more sharp. And, and offensively, we've talked a lot about the three left-handed guys, you know, struggling batting on the two hundred, each homering tonight. Is that just encouraging to see to see that? It is, and, and I thought Jock in particular took some very good at bats. Um, just missed a couple other balls uh, that could have went to the ballpark. Used a big part of the field. Uh, that homer that he hit was was uh, really impressive. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a sign of good things to come. So um, tonight, t- Walker, really tough on the right-hand hitter. So uh, it'll be, uh, you know, we got our hands full again. Kikuchi, we haven't seen him. So uh, it'll be an interesting matchup tomorrow. Thank you.